Good afternoon. Happy Monday, July 17. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome to Make It Monday. I've got a, a fun fold card for you today. Uh, using one of my favorite bundles from Stampin' Up. I'm just kind of um, getting my surface ready here so it won't shift on us while we're we're filming. Um, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the card we're going to make. Hi, Kathy! There we go. Oh, that is not what we want to do. Why is it doing that? <laughs> Let's turn that off. Huh. I've got a setting um, I need to change. So I'm not going to put myself in the corner like I normally do because <laughs> I don't want I don't want that. I don't want it cut in half like that. But this is a little fun fold card we're going to make. On Friday, I was on Craft Roulette. I've been kind of talking about that uh, for a couple weeks now. And um, I was a guest crafter. And our parameters for the card um, was a Z-fold card. So this is a card I ended up making Friday on Craft Roulette. It had to be a Z-fold. Um any color I wanted so um, makers choice on the color it had to have old hence my little old um, I can't figure out if this is a llama or a sheep <laughs> but um, I think it kind of looks like a, a an old sheep she's knitting her wool and um, I made this during craft roulette it was so much fun there was one other parameter. Oh, something off of your mask. Mary uh, Gunn calls her desk her mask because like me and probably a lot of you, her desk uh, is messy. And so she calls it a mess. So I use these frosted dots on the card. So that was the Z fold card that I made during the um, Craft Roulette on Friday. And Craft Roulette's every Friday, but you can watch the replays and you can see the gallery. There's so many things you can do during the week. So I'll put the link to um, Craft Roulette. I, I believe it's craftroulette.live. She also has an active Facebook group and Facebook page that I believe you can join. It's a really fun community. And if you're a card maker, you're going to want to check it out. Hi, Nancy. How are you? So anyway, that's the card I made Friday. So that got me all hot and um, crafty for Z folds. So today, and I think I mentioned it Friday, a, a double Z fold. <laughs> so this is our double Z fold that we're going to make today. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. You just add another little strip to your, your card. So for this card that I'm making today, I am using the so refreshing bundle from stampin up it's a really fun um stamp set lots of stamps how many stamps does it say 18 stamps and it has coordinating dies and there are some beautiful um, projects made using this bundle and i've listed all the supplies i'm using today in the um in the description so you can click on that if you if any if you want more information about any of the supplies I'm using all right the designer series paper that I chose for my project is um, something eclectic let me grab it it's really fun I use this a lot because you get so much of it it's such a value um, it's got all the fun colors, prints, double-sided. Um, I love the florals. This is one of my favorite prints. But it had the perfect print for our, oh, look at this floral, y'all. 
I love that too. It had the perfect print and let's see if I can find it real quick. Oh, this is one I, I like too. I think my nurseries for my little babies 35 years ago had wallpaper like this. I, that was a flashback. Remember, I don't know, back when I had my babies in the 80s, there were, you know, it was a theme. You did a theme. Mine was a clown theme because I didn't want to know what the gender of my child was and I wanted it to be a surprise. So I wanted my um, colors to be neutral. So I did clown theme. I'll have to show you the paper on here. It has lemons on it. So it's really, um, it was perfect for this project. Nancy said, I wanted you to say tutu on the inside to go with that cute ballerina. I know. <laughs> so cute. Both of my little granddaughters, one granddaughter's in dance and one is in gymnastics. And I'm always watching them at practice or at rehearsals or at at their um what do you call them when they do the shows um so i'll have to send these to my granddaughters i'll have to make another one send one to each of my granddaughters anyway let's get back to the project the z fold card i'm using bubble gum i pulled it from the um the paper there's some bubblegum pink on there. So I pulled the um, cardstock from the paper. And you're going to start out with a four and a fourth by 11 for this style of Z fold. There's many different styles of Z folds, but the one I'm doing today. And then we're going to score it at two and three quarters. And then five and a half, just like an A2 card would be folded in half at five and a half. And you're going to fold that in half and then fold that back, that, that two and three quarter fold back. And that's your Z fold. I'm trying to make it look like a Z. <laughs> that's your Z fold. And then we're going to do the same thing. We've got this one measures, let's see, I think it's an inch and a half. You can make this as wide or as narrow as you want. It is an inch and a half by 11 because we're going to score it and it's going to sit on our card and fold up with it. So we're going to also score it at two and three quarter and five and a half. Okay. I'm going to grab my bone folder. Kathy's nursery was Winnie the Pooh. Oh, that's adorable. Mine was clowns. I might have scared I might have scared my kids. You know how little kids are afraid of clowns. Oh. Okay, so here's our folds. So this is going to attach to our card base like that. But first we're going to add some designer series paper. I was so young and I don't know. But anyway, it all coordinated. I had everything clowns. And I had that wallpaper that looked just like that designer series paper. So I've cut my panels of the designer series paper with the lemons on it. I have cut it at four and five and a fourth for this large panel. And then these both measure two and a half by four. And I will have a cutting and scoring guide over on my blog, theplaidpoodle.com. Um, after I get done here today, I will go ahead and um, put all this information over there. It'll take me about 30 minutes. So check it later on today. 
if you want to try making your own double Z fold card and would like the measurements of my um, paper and the scoring guide, I will put it all over there. So I'm just adhering these little uh, panels of designer series paper onto the panels of the card. And see that's going to fold like that. Now we have to add our little um, um, double Z fold or double Z. So we've already got this, but I also embellished it with a little of that paper. I took a coordinating print, and I'm going to adhere it onto that. Um, oh, I didn't cut it down proper. <laughs> this is, um, what did we say, one and a half by 11. So I want this to be... Um, you know, a fourth of an inch smaller. Oop, I'm shaking my whole table. So I'm going to make this ten and three quarter. And it measures one and a fourth. One and a fourth by ten and three quarters. I think I might have my camera too low, but... So if my hands look like gigantor hands, that is why. Um, and then I'm going to just glue this on here and then I'll reinforce this fold. So this will fold really nice with the, um, the card stock. And I'm gonna use some liquid glue here. I'm using multi-purpose liquid glue. And I think I mentioned a couple weeks ago that I'm experimenting with this new glue bottle my friend gave me. I love it. So I will um, be putting that information out, where to find those. She got them on Amazon, so I need to ask her. She gave me one. I think they come in packs of five or ten. Um, but I will find out all that information and share it with you because I really like it much better then the actual bottle, the, um, the multi-purpose liquid glue comes in. I was afraid that it might, I have trouble with glue um, clogging in those fine, tip, fine tips, but I haven't found that to be the case with this one, so. Okay, so I'm gonna just fold this again, and I'll grab my bone folder and reinforce it a little bit on that two and three quarter and five and a half inch fold that we made on the bubblegum cardstock. And this is gonna go on our card base like this. You could put it anywhere. Like I said, when you make yours, you could make yours wider. This is one and a half. I thought it worked well with my embellishments that I'm gonna add, but if you're gonna add something um, smaller you might want to make yours um, smaller or larger but you get the gist of that okay and I think I'm going to use my liquid glue again for this part because I only want to glue to here and I have a very scientific way of doing this I put a fingernail mark there so I won't put glue past that mark <laughs> like I said, very scientific. Now this end will completely glue, uh, we'll glue that right onto the card base. And I got a little glue off on the side. So the best way to do this is to Kind of fold it like that. Determine where you're going to put it. I want it kind of lower from center. I don't want it right at the center because I'm going to put my circle there. 
and there is your double Z. So there you have it. And then it'll fit in your envelope. And then you can stand it up really nice. Whoever you send it to can stand it up. You know how, how we like to do that. Put them on our mantles and our, our, uh, our shelves. And we get a pretty card. Okay. Now the next thing I did was I cut the largest circle from some basic white cardstock. And to do that, I used the um, Stylish Shape Styles. I use these almost every week. You guys are probably getting tired of me using these, but I used the largest circle for this. Whoops. And we can either build up our embellishment on, before we put it on the card, or we can put it on the card and um, build it up. And I think I like to put it on the card. It's personal preference because I like to see how everything's going to um, fit <laughs> on the front. And I'm putting this right in the middle, my, the middle of my circle. This is the middle of the five and a half inch card, the A2 card. So I'm putting the circle right at the middle there. So I'm just going to put a little stamp and seal on here. So now our card base is all ready. I've gotten some glue on here. And that is something you're going to want to be careful because you don't want it to glue to itself. Probably when I overshot over there. Okay, so that's all ready. Our card base is all ready. So now the fun part, we get to do all the stamping. Um, like I said, I'm using the So Refreshing stamp set and the dies. And I just grabbed a big sheet of basic white cardstock. And I think what I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna just stamp all of these images on here and um, cut them out in one, one, one swirl through the machine. So we don't have to do 20 swirls. So I'm probably using more than I need. In fact, I think I'll use this little piece. But I keep a scrap box, so I will use anything I have left over. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my picture. I'll bring this down here so you can see. And I'm using um, Smoky Slate. I think it's our lightest gray that we have at Stampin' Up. And um, I'm going to grab a little um, paper piercing mat. When I use um, photopolymer stamps, I kind of like to have a little cushion underneath. So I'm using Smoky Slate. Hopefully the die is going to fit that. I did it awfully close to the edge. Let us see. Oh, I think it, I think it will barely 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 okay and then I need a glass I use the smoky slate because I thought it would look make it look kind of like glass <laughs> and is that all the smoky slate yes now uh, for the lemonade oh actually we're going to add some ice cubes here in a minute for the lemonade, there is a solid image. What did I do with the solid image? I have put the solid image somewhere and I can't find it. It's probably sitting right in front of me. Well, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and use our lemon lolly. It's probably over on my other desk. It is. I see it. I'm going to go grab it. Sorry about that, guys.
This is so silly. Do um, you guys like to stand when you stamp? I am a stander, so I have a kind of a countertop or, yeah, counter height desk that I I like to stamp at. But when, I, when I'm on with you all, I like to sit. Okay, so there's our lemonade in our pitcher. And there's an image to put lemonade in our glass or a beverage. It could be iced tea. What colors would you use? Like if you wanted to make it look like iced tea. I don't know what a good color would be. There we go. Now I can add the ice cubes. All these fun little stamped images and they're just going to be kind of floating in my glass of lemonade. Can you see that? Isn't that fun? It, the uh, image gives like the um, the look of a reflection in the glass I think. I think I'm done with the lemon lolly. Now we're going to stamp, um, actually I forgot my lemon. We're going to stamp this floral image, which is really fun. And I have a, a trick for you, a little um, tip for, for that. Let me stamp my um, lemon because we're going to die cut that out as well. I've got a little pencil mark on my paper. Okay, and we're done with the gray now. Okay, for the floral image, I chose garden green, and I just pulled that from the paper as well. I think the leaves on the lemons, we have some garden green on there. So that was my clue for that. And now I can't find, oh, here we go. No, <laughs> y'all. This is so silly. Probably because there's so many stamps. I forgot to carry them all over here. And here it is. I probably took it off because I needed this block. I'm just going to set it on here kind of at a diagonal. And we're going to add flowers to this stem here in a minute, so I'm going to leave some space. And that's awfully tight at the bottom because of the, um, the dye. I want to get it all cut out proper. So let's make another one. And then there are two flower um, images that will give us a little bit of dimension to the flowers. And here's my, my, uh, my tip. I hope I didn't throw it away. If I did, I'm gonna... I took the die cut, which I might have thrown away. I was getting too ahead of myself. So let me cut another one. Here's the die cut for this floral image. So I'm going to just cut a blank out of a piece of paper real quick. Okay, but I'm going to use the negative. Let's grab my scissors. Hi, Carol. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. Kathy, you asked me earlier, did my power go out Friday? It did not. We were lucky because I know a lot of people lost power. Okay, so I'm going to use the negative and I'm going to fit it over this stem.
And then I'm going to take a little uh, washi tape, or if you have a post-it note or something so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to do my bubblegum ink. I'm done with this green, so I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to try and do this without putting my head right underneath the camera. But I'm going to ink up this first um, image. And it's it's going to help me. This, this negative is going to help guide me. And if I'm going to stand up, y'all. There we go. Now I can see really good. See how that helped guide me exactly where I needed to go? Even though the photopolymer is clear and see-through, sometimes I have a little bit of trouble. And I wanted them to fit exactly on those um, stems like they were supposed to. Now here is the second. Um, there's an outline image and then a solid image. I put the solid image in first. Now I'm going to put the outline in image in and I'm doing it um, again with bubble gum so it's not going to be real um, noticeable but it will add a little bit of texture to the flowers and I don't know if the um, camera will pick that up or not but that's my little tip, is to just take the negative, when you have something like that, of the die, and then fit it in there, and it works really awesome. Now, if you have a stamp placement tool, like a Stamparatus or a Misty, um, you could just do it the same way. Use your negative inside your stamp placement tool. And we're going to use that again. We're going to use a bunch of these now. We are going to cut out our picture. Stampin' Up! gives you two glasses, so if you wanted more than one glass, and two lemon slices, or orange slices, or lime slices. And then the one we just used. There we go. And while we're at it, I'm going to cut out this leaf image from some garden green. If this would hold that down if I put my mat on it there. There you go. Now you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab this die from the set and some garden green. I just have this little scrap of garden green. But hopefully I'll be able to fit it on. Hopefully it will fit. So I'm going to grab my... Since I'm doing all of these together, I'm just going to do them on my um, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine all at once. So there's the little leaves. And then I also have the little stems for the strawberries. They are tiny. We can put that on there. I don't know if that needs taped on there or not, but I will. Um, and then we will cut these all out. We have our glass pitcher of lemonade. Now, while I've got you on here, I'm going to, that's going to be in the way, so I'm going to put that over there. Um, I need to mention that Stampin' Up! is currently, during the month of July, running a bonus days. They call it 
So for every $50 you spend, they will reward you with a $5 off coupon to use in March. I'm March. Oh my gosh. Y'all. <laughs> we don't want it to be March yet. I don't even know why that came out of my mouth. To be used in August next month. So there's no limit. You can earn as many as you want and put them towards any purchases of any amount in the month of August. So I've got a link in the description um, if you want to go shopping. Now for the strawberries, I used this little die and it has, I don't know, is the camera picking that up? See how it has texture? And I just took a scrap of this that I had left over and um, I'm going to cut my strawberries out of that. Although there are strawberries on there, I don't think these, do I don't know, we should try. That would be hard to fit that on there, but um, I'm just going to cut them out of that. Um, what looks to be Poppy Parade to me, not quite red. All right, so that's all our die cuts, and then we're going to put it all together. Let me run it through. Did you hear all the crackling? I have to do it over on the table behind me because it will just shake my desk too much and you guys might get um, car sick <laughs> if I do it over here on the table. Okay, so there we have our pitcher. There's our, I just added some leaves just to fill in that space. I thought with our flowers here, maybe that would appear to be, you know, part of that. Um, here's our little glass of lemonade, our little lemon. Here's our beautiful um, stem. Let me grab some. I want to show you something else. Here is another die cut. Um, there is no stamp to go with this die cut, but it's got a little, um, it's a vase or a, what do you call it? A pitcher, but it's got a little slot. And see how you can make a little bouquet um, coming out of there. I almost did that for the card, but it was just too tall, I felt. So that's kind of a neat little thing that that um, die set will do as well. All right, here's our little strawberries, and they are tiny, so I'm going to set them over here and hope I don't lose any. <laughs> and then here, I'm while I've got these here, I'm just going to add a little dot of glue and add the stems to them because they're even, it's that little tiny stems that are even tinier. These are so cute. I almost need to get my tweezers out. There we go. So I put a little drop of glue there. And I think I will get my tweezers out. They're so tiny, they might blow away with, I have my ceiling fan on. They fit right on those strawberries. I don't know if you can see it, because they're so tiny. Isn't that cute? They're so cute. I do have to mention, um, if you're local to Kansas City, um, my class on Thursday, today was the last day to register. I have 
one spot left and then it's sold out. So um, I probably shouldn't have mentioned it. <laughs> I was limited on um, supplies that I could get for the class. It's a Christmas in July class. Okay, so before we put everything together, I wanted to show you how I put that little lemon on the glass. You know how they do that in the fancy restaurants. <laughs> I just cut kind of a little triangle like a pizza. And I probably need it to be a little deeper than that. Or a Pac-Man face. <laughs> For those of you who grew up in those days and then I just put it on the glass like that I just use a little dot of glue that's probably too much I'm going to put a little, I'm going to take some of this and put it on the back too. So that when we add it to the glass, yeah, I probably put too much glue on that front or that back, but it'll dry clear and it'll be fine. Okay. So that's our little slice of lemon on our lemonade glass. That's why I was trying to think what color of ink to use for iced tea. What do you guys think if I wanted a glass of iced tea? I am an iced tea drinker 24-7 all the time. Um, it's what I was raised on. I'm an iced tea drinker. So I was trying to figure out what color of ink to make iced tea. All right. Now we're going to add all of this to our, I'm looking for my tweezers, I just set them down, here they are. Sometimes when I'm doing this, using tweezers is so much easier for me. My fingers are so big and fumbly that, all right, so I want my flowers to kind of, um, Yeah, that looks good. You don't want it to go past the end of your card because then it won't fit in the envelope. We're just on a little picnic and we picked a stem of whatever these flowers are. <laughs> I don't know. And then I popped up the picture with some dimensionals I'm going to put it over here to give me a little room for my strawberries and I popped the um, the glass up as well I think I can just cut a little like I have this end strip of dimensionals And I want it to go over on this side. And I'm just going to put it right there, kind of in front of the picture. That's cute all by itself, isn't it? 
And then my strawberries, let's see, I put one on the, just kind of balancing up against the little pitcher. And the other two are just hanging out on the You just almost don't need any kind type of embellishment on this because the strawberries kind of act like the little embellishment, right? Okay, and then we're going to tuck this um, leaf right in behind there just to kind of fill up that white space. part of our floral arrangement there. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I did was add a sentiment and I just took a 5 8 inch strip of basic white. Oh, Kathy, you were out of electricity for 20 hours. Oh, I bet you were dying. It's been so hot and humid. You poor thing. Carol, there's a one day um, sale on stamps. No, I did not know that. I haven't really been online today. <laughs> Is it coming up? Is it tomorrow? <laughs> um, Carol says there's a one day sale on stamps. I will post that information as soon as I figure it out. <laughs> now, I have had contractors here at my house today. And um, I've just been working on this card and it didn't go online. The Stampin' Up! normally posts its news on Tuesdays. Oh, that is not good. I'm going to stand up for this one too. There we go. Don't you love that font? So cute. The sentiments on this stamp set are time spent together is the sweetest, happiest birthday, and thank you kindly. And I probably, I used the Garden Green ink to do that sentiment. I probably could have, since it's such a dark ink, could have stamped it right on the DSP. But I was afraid to do that. <laughs> it could have been the best of ideas or the worst of ideas. And then I kind of flagged the ends of each end. But you know what? I'm not sure I like that. So I think for this one, yeah, I'm going to flag them. <laughs> I'm just cutting in the center and then from the corners. And this might be too long which it is. Doggone it. Let's, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Fifteen percent only on Wednesday. Okay. Well, sometimes those, those up lines get information before we do. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll have to look up, look that up. I wonder is it select stamps only or um let's see, that's two and three quarters. So I'm gonna make this two and three. Well, I'm gonna make it two and five eighths. Kathy, is my kitchen done? Almost. 
My class on Thursday, I was thinking I might have to do it down here where I used to hold my classes down in my lower level, but I hate to do that with, because of the stairs. But he told me today they're going to be done tomorrow, so I'll be able to put everything back. You know, I've got a lot of stuff that I had to take out of cabinets and drawers. Doggone it, y'all. Look what I keep doing. And I'm standing up to do this. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Oh, the whole annual catalog. All right, y'all, you heard it here first. Carol says on Wednesday, Stampin' Up! is having a... I'm not going to flag the ends. Well, I got to do something. Let's do it like this. We'll just do that. And then that. That's kind of fun sometimes just to do that. There we go. Um, I will post it. As soon as I get off here, I will find out what is going on with this stamp cell because there might be some stamps I need. <laughs> now, y'all, when they have this kind of sale, remember, stuff might sell out. If it's in the annual catalog, though, they will replace it eventually. But I don't, you know, sometimes it takes a while. So if there's something you really like, um, grab it. 15% off, that's pretty good. There we go. That's the card. That is a double Z-fold card. So here is the single Z-fold that I did on Friday. I just used those stylish shape dies in the front. Here's another, um, where did it go? Hmm. Oh, it fell down, hold on. <laughs> this one is with the Zany Zoo crew. This one is with um, Retired Products, but very similar to this one. So see, you can use what you have and recreate whatever. Um, follow the sketch or whatever. So you could make a double Z fold using whatever products that you have. So that is the So Refreshing Double Z Fold card. Um, really fun. Okay, so according to Carol, Carol, I'm so glad you joined us. Um, oh, and Stephanie says too, uh, the whole annual catalog, 15% uh, off Wednesday only, the whole catalog. That is awesome. So you can see that online or um, in your annual catalog. And then you can still earn your bonus bonus dollars here I'm gonna go back <laughs> so you can still earn your bonus dollars on that as well to use in August so five dollars for every uh, 50 man they keep getting us don't they <laughs> now I gotta get my wish list back out um, Nancy thanks for joining us and Stephanie I missed it when you came on hello I've got my setup kind of weird right now so um, I think I got all the questions answered. I'm just going back through. Yeah, I think I answered them all. Thank you, Carol, for that heads up on the, um, Carol and Stephanie on the, um, uh, stamp sale. I'll post some more information on that as well. Um, but I, um, good luck on your, everyone make a Z fold card. It's so fun. This is a double Z. <laughs> um, and I will see you next Monday for Make It Monday. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.